What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the second beta of macOS Sequoia 15.4. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a lot of interesting things to talk about. Let's get started. Alright, the first thing that we can talk about today is that there are some brand new emojis inside of macOS. These were these were found inside the code out of beta 1, but they were not implemented quite yet. But now they are implemented here inside of beta 2. And you can see we got a tired emoji, a fingerprint, a tree, a radish, a harp, a shovel, and a paint thing. So we got these brand new emojis and they're all pretty nice. I can think of a use case for pretty much half of them at this point. But if you're interested in emojis, that's really good. If you, but if you don't care but care about Genmoji instead, keep in mind that all these emojis will be used to create different emojis. For example, the tired emoji. You can create a bunch of brand new emojis now that Apple has added these brand new emojis to macOS. Now the next thing is if you were to try downloading an app right here, let's wait for it to start downloading and you'd be like, oh, I realize I don't want to download this app anymore. Before it would just completely stop, but now it just pauses the download, which is a little bit interesting of a behavior. And you can click right here to resume the download. But let's say I don't want this app and I want it to download the superior widget app. All I have to do is go into here, press and hold, and click this X button and it will cancel the app download. That's how you can now cancel app downloads. This also is the same with updates right here. But you'll be able to pause app downloads. For example, if you want to prioritize an app download, let's say you want to prioritize, I don't know, Willy Widgets, for example, instead of prioritizing Bluetooth Inspector. You can prioritize Willy Widgets updates even better. Now, next thing is that we got a couple brand new changes inside the mail app. The first one is that you now get this tip when whenever you click on all mail. You could easily just dismiss it by clicking on this. And now, next change is that you got a small UI change. Before, it would just be completely black around here, but now it just matches the same color. It looks a lot better. And finally, inside the mail app, if you were to click on these three dots, you can now show or hide mail categories. You don't need to go inside the menu bar and dig through that. I like to make fun of Apple because they think that's a good idea, but you no longer need to do that now. And you can also show priority messages right from this three dots menu as well. Now the next change is probably a little bug inside this latest beta, but I'm sure it will get fixed or reverted. And if it is a feature, it's a feature, but it is good to show anyway. If you were to scroll down to the macOS section inside your storage settings and click on this little eye right here, You'll notice that Apple Intelligence is nowhere to be found inside of the storage settings, which is a little bit interesting to see, considering Apple used to be transparent about this, but now I guess they don't want to be transparent about this anymore, or it's just a little bug, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. And now the last change is a pretty big change inside of here if you go into the Photos app and then go into Memories right here. Some people have reported that you're able to now create Apple Intelligence Memories. Now personally, I have not been able to at all. I tried going through the menu bar to try to create some, but unfortunately I just have been unable to do it. My Apple Intelligence is turned on as you can see right here. But we have to wait and see if this will be turned on for everyone. Now overall this update is a lot better than the previous one, but it's also good to discuss when Beta 3 will be coming out. So let's place a calendar widget here real quick or I'll just use this one. So right here the Beta came out on the 3rd. I'd say we're going to go to a one week schedule at this point. So i say the next Beta is going to come out here on the 10th. They're probably going to need to support the new MacBook Air that's rumored to come out. Or it could also come out on the 11th if something gets delayed or something. But it's good to wait until these new betas come out so Apple focuses on making them stable. And as for the final release, Apple is saying it's going to be releasing in early April. There are two possibilities here that could release on the April 1st right here. Or it could release the week after here on the 8th. So I have to wait and see what happens right there. But it is good to just wait and see when macOS Sequoia 15.4 will be releasing to everyone. And that's everything I could find inside this latest beta. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share through with your friends. Fill my apps, Willy Witches, and Willy Study in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!